This world and the things of this world will pass you by. All things grow old and you will die. In two generations, you will not be remembered, but those who placed their faith and trust in the Lord, your God, will inherit eternal life, and all of his laborers will reap from the sweet harvest they had planted on this earth. The true followers of Christ will suffer many trials, and the world will say they died in vain. But those who live for this world and the things of it will not be remembered, but will perish in eternal fire. Here is a hard fact for many Christians to accept and which many preachers do not preach on the pulpit because all they want is your money, your time, your subscriptions, your views, and so forth. But here's the hard fact of the matter. Not every Christian will be blessed on this earth with the things that they want or the things that they think they need. We are here to harvest for the Lord and to hopefully reap the benefits of that harvest in heaven. Christians all over the world are dying, dying for their faith, being falsely accused for their faith. And it, we should count that as a blessing. We should rejoice to be able to suffer for the Lord as the scriptures say. But many of these worldly Christians automatically assume that simply because life isn't working out for an individual, that God is mad at them, that God is punishing them. And that is simply not the fact. In fact, almost every person in the Bible suffered per persecution. They suffered many pains and they were attacked by many of the people that they lived with. In the Old Testament, many prophets died at the hand of Jezebel. Job's family died at the hand of Satan. It's in the New Testament, Jesus died. Many people died and suffered on crosses for Christ, for believing in Christ. So do not believe anyone who tells you that you are definitely going to be blessed or will have what you desire because they're just selling you a false gospel and a false hope. Instead, I encourage you with these words. We know for a fact that there is a God, and we know he came as Jesus Christ in the flesh. And you know, if you have the Holy Spirit, that he will return, and he will be coming back for his people. And if you make it to heaven, you'll have an eternity of rest, peace, love, and everything that you would ever have desired 